So once we have that background darker here, now this shirt stands out too much, so I just need to come in and go a little darker on this shirt here. And at the same time, it would be fun to emphasize a little bit more of that pattern on your shirt. Just gonna look at my drawing while I do that. I think I should leave this part dry though. On my drawing, it's a light area, so I'd like to protect it. That'll bring it forward to have that contrast there and just show that it's the light hitting it from that side. I might paint a little bit in the hair. You can see where it's wet right there. I might need to add a little more water in places it's not really evenly wet. It needs to be more even. That's probably good. Okay, so just starting with that same Antwerp blue with some brown matter, mostly Antwerp. I don't want a flat, flat, like too flat of a gray. It would be really beautiful to have the semi-neutrals showing, like a gray-blue and a gray-red. That I can sort of make it look kind of gray. The viewer, when the viewer looks at it, it'll appear kind of gray, but there'll just be subtle hints of that blue and red showing through. Okay, that's a good amount of blue, Antwerp blue. And then I think I'll use more brown matter. I mean, I could use the red, but I like the transparency of the brown matter. They both work for grays with, the, with this Antwerp, but the Pyrrol Scarlet is nice, but it's a little more opaque. Something about the the transparent colors. I guess maybe they, they let the paper show through better and they just look cleaner. More not as chalky or cloudy. That's kind of a good balance of color. If I blend much more, it's gonna over blend real quick. I just like the hint of the color because it sort of, well, it makes it so it's not the same too long, and which would attract attention, but it also, it just harmonizes nice with the, the colors in the, the portrait, the face, by having some reds showing through, you know. I think as it comes toward the light area, I might let a little of that red show up a bit more. The brown matter, I mean, just to appear warmer. So that's good. I mean, now I could come in and put some of the pattern in, or I wet the hair a little, which actually we wouldn't mind going in and just putting a bit more dark in places right here. I'm really paying attention to my drawing though. That's important because 
I don't want to get carried away and put all that information that I see in the photo. Okay, I didn't really wet very far, so I better not do too much. I don't have to get the pattern in yet, because that can be put in when it's even a little drier. It would be a good time to, I, I think I better get to that pattern inner shirt if I want to put it in at all. It's pretty dry, it's like satin, so it's actually a good timing. So we can just set this color in and it will stay there. That's the brown matter and Antwerp mixture. Just to go a little darker on that part where I'd already painted. I'm using a synthetic brush just to have a bit more control of how much comes off of the brush. I put it down gray semi-neutrals first, but you could go in and Drop in a little color, but by having the gray first, it sort of keeps it subdued so that it won't be too strong of color, you know? I mean, you could still accidentally put too much, but it just helps to have that gray first and keep it the color in check. Just to have a more limited color, a color harmony. If there's too many colors showing all at once, it can be not harmonious and have discord. So here's a little bit of ultramarine right over that leaf. I think though it's not too clean, I think because of the gray that was done. I think it looks like I have time to get to these ones. So basically I'm just still using that same brown matter in Antwerp for the darkest part. And then I think I'll come in and drop a little gamboge, but I'll just maybe gray it with a, some brown which will end up making it look a little like Rossi in a brown with, made with burnt sienna and French ultramarine blue. I need to get to these edges, look. See, I've got an edge, some edges that formed. I better do that because I can come back later and finish these this pattern. But this, these edges, if I don't soften them now, I'm not going to be able to get them later. Okay, so maybe I can come back and maybe there's still time to finish, get more of this pattern in. Okay, so that Antwerp and brown matter mixture, it's sort of like the dominant gray that I'm using all over different areas of the painting, you know? And it just kind of keeps more of a harmony by having it in different places. I guess because all the, the reds in the skin tone too, and the blue 
in the background and the blue eyes and it just seems to work nice. So if you use a gray that has made out of a color that is very prevalent in your painting, it just works really nice to make the color more beautiful throughout the painting to appear more beautiful to make the color thing. So that's the blue and little brown matter. Keeping my paint mix dry as I'm doing this so that it won't spread too easy. See, that's too clean. What I just put down, it stands out a little too much. So you could lighten it or gray it down, but I think that's all right. I lightened it a bit. My papers, it's becoming pretty dry, so I shouldn't try to force it. I should just let the paper tell me when to stop working, you know? That's the best way to do it. I didn't get everything completed in, in this area, but it's okay. If that happens, just come back with one more layer and we could, should be able to finish it.